Welcome back once again. My name is Mr. Charles Wenike. In today's video tutorial, we will be discussing on showcase diodes, showcase diode working principle, showcase diode applications. So these are the things that we are going to discuss in terms of showcase diodes. But before we proceed on this today's video tutorial, I would like to say please, if you like my video, subscribe to my channel, comment, like and share. So the first question of the day is what is a shoki diode? That is is very important for you to know what shoki diode is all about before proceeding to know every other things that are attached to shoki diode. So before then I would like to give you the definition of a shoki diode. So in that case a shoki diode is a metal semiconductor diode with a low with a low forward voltage drop and a very fast switching speed. That is the definition of a shoki diode. And I would like to repeat it again. A shoki diode is a metal semiconductor diode with a low forward voltage drop and a very fast switching speed. That is to tell you that shoki diode it has two functions at the same time it has a low forward voltage drop and is also as fast as in terms of switching and the speed it is very fast in switching and there are other names of a um, shoki diode as well and the names are barrier diode and low voltage diode so these are the names even if you can remember a shoki diode you can also remember that other names that you can use to substitute in terms of a shoki diode i repeat one is a barrier diode and the second one is a low voltage diode so another one that i want you to also put in mind is a shoki diode was discovered by a man called Walter H. Shoki. He was the first man that discovered this shoki diode that we are talking about today. So he was the man that discovered it, and um, he discovered it based on his own based on his own experiment, and he uses what we call metal semiconductor, which Instead of using a material called PN junction, he uses a, an aluminium type to substitute in terms of it. And after that, he was the first man that discovered the diode. And that, and that was the reason why they named it after the man name. So, another um, function of this uh, Shoki diode is once it comes in terms of to compare shoki diode and pn junction diode shoki diode it has a um, power drop as in low low voltage drop and um, also it switch faster than pn junction pn junction doesn't have the ability to switch faster than shoki diode so shoki diode has low voltage drop and it also has um, uh, the speed uh, the switching speed so those are the two things that are involved so just as I said before the man uses aluminium to replace in terms of the PN junction so what are the working principles of Shoki diode you know in every just as I said before that we are going to discuss the working principles of Shoki diode Shoki diode, it has a parameter, two important parameters which I have mentioned before. The number one parameter is the switching rate and uh, the second parameter is the less voltage drop. It has switching rate, the high switching rate. The switching is, the speed is higher than PN junction and it also has a low voltage drop. So those are the two important parameters of um, Shoki diode. And remember, just as I said before, Shoki diode is a metal semiconductor 
that does not have the ability to store a charge. Why? It is because the absence of displacement layer. Why in times of PN junction, PN junction, it is because it has P type and it has N type. And in between that P type, P type is the positive, while the N type is the negative. So in times of Shoki diodes, that metal it represents positive, while the N type it still represents the negative. So the N type, the reason why that that it doesn't have the ability or the capability to store charges, it is because it has no hold on needs. So that is the reason why it cannot store um, charge on it. But in terms of PN junction, PN junction is stored charges. Why does it store charges? It is because it has a displacement region. A displacement region is, is a region between the positive and the negative. It means the boundary between the positive and negative. The, the plus and minus, that is the boundary of that particular region. And on the process where current move from positive to negative, it is called forward bias. And that is the reason why that PN junction, it has the capability to store charges on it. So in that case, if I may ask, which I have already mentioned, the two important of a Shoki diode, switching and low voltage, right? So there are something that I also want you to understand. If I may ask or somebody asks you, what is a voltage drop? Because that is and what Shoki diodes has, it has a low voltage drop. Why? PN junction, it has a high voltage drop. So those are the two differences. Shoki diodes has low voltage drop, while PN junction has high voltage drop. So the question is, what is a voltage drop? And what are their voltage drop differences? In terms of the in terms of the Shoki diode, the voltage drop is 0 0.15 and 0 0.45 volts. While in terms of the PN junction, the voltage drop is 0 0.6 and, and 1.7 volts. So these are the two differences of voltage drop of those two uh, diodes, the PN junction and the Shoki diode. Now, if someone may ask you, just as I said before, what is a voltage drop? From my own explanation or from the way I understand it, that is how I will also explain it. A voltage drop is a process of current, move, current flows in the forward direction. What, what did I mean by current flow in forward direction? It simply means that when a current is passing through from positive to negative it simply means the current is flowing in forward direction so in that case on that process of current flowing from positive to negative there is there is what we call voltage losses and that voltage losses it is called the voltage drop so what i mean by voltage losses the voltage we lost on the process of crossing the other region so the voltage that losses between the diodes, uh, between the shocky diode, is more lesser than voltage losses between the PN junction diode. So that is why, uh, that is why shocky diode is more, it has a low voltage drop than um, PN junction diode, and that is the reason why it is called, um, it is called voltage drop. I think um, it's very simple for you to understand it in that form. And another another aspect of uh, Shoki diode is it is uh, due to the absence of displacement layer. So since 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 it cannot store charges, now it has to act as a unibipolar device. It that is how it acts as unibipolar device. 
And the reason why it acts like that is because of the absence of the displacement layer. So why diodes act as a bipolar device? So that is how it is. So secondly, secondly, it doesn't have the capacity or it does not store any charge due to the reason Shoki diodes has the advantage. It has the advantage of switching faster than Shoki and than the um, PN junction diode. In what? In a relatively low noise. It switch in a relatively low noise. And the low and the low noise of Shoki diodes is is lower than the PN junction diode. PN junction noise is higher. Why? In terms of the Shoki diode is lower. So, so all these are the advantage over PN junction. And um, thirdly, it has a low barrier potential. It has a low barrier potential compared to PN junction. PN junction, it has a higher potential barrier. So those are the things that you should also know about a Shoki diode. So from what I just said now, I believe that you have really understand how Shoki diodes work, the principle of Shoki diodes, and why, why, what is the voltage drop, what is it all about, which I just explained is, is a process when a current is moving forward by us, and on that process of current crossing from one region to another region, there must be a voltage losses and that voltage losses the minimum of that voltage losses is called um, voltage drop which i told you that voltage drop of um shoki diode is lower than voltage drop of pn junction i also tell you that um shoki diode it has two characteristics two important functions which i say that the switching rate is the switching speed is high and it also has a low voltage drop compared to compared to um, PN junction. It does not store and um, charges. Why? It is because it doesn't uh, because it doesn't have a displacement layer or a displacement region. Why? PN junction it store charges because it has a displacement region. It is because of the replacement of um, of metal being it is it, uh, uh, where the PN junction will be will be seated. It has been removed and replaced by aluminium being a metal. So that is the reason why it doesn't have the ability to store. So in that case, I also talk about there was a man that discovered it, a man whose name is Walter Walker H. Shoki. He was the first man that discovered a Shoki diode and which he uses uh, um, aluminium to substitute in terms of PN junction. It erased the P-type and used the aluminium. So those are the things that you should also know about uh, Shoki diode. So what are the applications of Shoki diode? I, I wrote three, three things that Shoki diode can also be used for. It can be used as a rectifier, a rectification, converting AC to DC because of its property. It will do the job perfectly. And secondly, it can be used for voltage clipping, voltage clipping application to prevent transistor saturation. And thirdly, it is used as a shoki transistor transistor logic in terms of uh, digital um, electronics in which we are enjoying today. For instance, CMOS battery logic, you know, CMOS battery is used in in systems for instance laptop desktop and so on and so forth so and that is all about a uh, shoki diode for today please if you like my video subscribe to my channel comment like and share thank you once again for watching my video see you next week